hello guys welcome to my channel here I'm going to show you an approach for developing a critical response infrastructure for any company these teams are normally called the computer security incident response teams uh, the first thing as uh, supposed to come up is the framework uh, the framework defines what the CSAT is set to do or what is it going to do and it should consist of around four statements like a mission statement constituency the organization structure and the relationships uh, they're supposed to come up with a simple mission statement for the CSAT for example you have a simple a statement which says responsible for 24-hour monitoring investigation and a response to cyber security incidences then you define the constituency which is the company or the client that you are giving this service to for example, here I've defined the KBA. You're supposed to understand what this company does. Uh, what is this structure? What do they do? What are their products? Uh, then the next thing is to define the organization structure. You check where the CSAT is falling, the position that it is in the organization structure. Is it part of the IT team or is it to be operating independently? After that one, you go to define the relationship which defines the coordination between the CSAT and other external security teams to help each other. Then you come up with the incident response plan. This one uh, provides information to enable an efficient recovery from security incidences. So here you determine foundation for security monitoring, incident response processes and what the organization is trying to protect. Here you ask yourself four questions. What are the assets that are being protected? Is it the data? Is it network devices? Then you ask yourself, what are the threats to the assets? Is it malware? Is it theft? Then how are the threats being detected? Are you using firewalls? Are you using snort? There are many different ways to detect these threats. Then how will the organization respond to the threats? The teams and responsible for responding to these threats. Uh, then you prepare a CSAT test process. This one consists of four stages, five stages, sorry. Uh, we have plan, execute testing, facilitating process changes, management approval, and update and documentation. The first stage planning, uh, the team lead plans an annual test for the CSAT, which consists of attack scenarios to include in the test and the members who should be involved in testing the processes. After you plan, the execute testing consists of conducting a tabletop test of the incident response procedures for attack scenarios like for example DOS attacks or social engineering and then you review and evaluate the process steps to determine the adjustments to that test process. After that one you implement the plan improvements, the corrections that were found, the amendments to the test plans which have been identified during the testing process. After implementation, you submit to the managers for approval where they review and then they approve if it is efficient. After approval by managers, uh, the plan is updated if improvements or changes have been identified and then documentation is done for that test process. Uh, then the CSAT is supposed uh, to have a, a, a incident response life cycle. Here I have uh, the standard life cycle which consists of seven stages which is preparation, identification, analysis, containment, eradication and recovery, lessons learned and reporting. So I will take you through the seven stages and how what happened in each stage. The first one is preparation, uh, which helps to get the company teams and resources ready to handle a security incident. Uh, uh, the CSAT is supposed to educate the users and IT staff to respond to computer and network security incidences quickly and correctly. The users and IT staff is, are supposed to have proper information of cybersecurity on how to respond to these incidences. Then after that way you develop and maintain all the proper documentation for like for example network diagrams, configuration standards, change control documentation and so on. A CSAT should understand the network 
completely so that you'll be able to detect where the attack is coming from. Then you plan for how the logged data is going to be retained and the period for the detention. These logs are used to do analysis for security incidences and to be able to detect future incidences. Then you set up the proper roles and the responsibilities which defines who will do what during an incident. Who is responsible for analysis? Who is responsible for hunting for these threats? Who is responsible for reporting? Those ones are supposed to be clearly defined. The next change is incident identification. As normally, uh, companies have SOC teams and teams which do continuous monitoring and active cyber threat hunting to hunt for threats. So we have service decks, monitoring systems, uh, service decks like for email to service decks, proactive support teams, and they which are supposed to identify an occurring incident. In case of a cyber attack or suspicion that an attack is occurring, uh, the team is supposed to contact the IT service help desk and report the incidents. Then the incidents are supposed to be documented. You document as much information as possible. In information such as uh, when the incident occurred, the assets and data which has been compromised are supposed to be documented. Then you have to notify your immediate supervisor to make decisions quickly. A ticket should be opened for carrying incidences with details such as the contact information for the source, the infrastructure that has been affected, and the nature of the incidents. Uh, and then you should conduct the IT service help desk immediately in case you see suspicious entries in network logs from firewalls and routers uh, within successive intervals. Or in case you do malware detection within 30 minutes intervals. This one indicates occurrence of incidences. Then analysis should commence immediately where you analyze and document steps on each instance based on a predefined process which has been defined in the CISAR test process. Uh, here you check which networks, systems and applications are affected. Who is originating the incidents? What IP addresses are being used to attack? Then you check the tools or attack methods that are being used to initiate these incidents. And then you analyze to check for vulnerabilities which are being expected. Uh, are, they, are these vulnerabilities, are they uh, previous vulnerabilities that are known or is the attack utilizing zero day attack? These are vulnerabilities which have not been detected uh, by the company. Then you determine if the incident is supposed to be classified as a CSAT incident. If it is, it is supposed to be escalated to the SOC team and then you initiate the CSAT process which I have defined there earlier. If it is not, then it's supposed to be handled using the standard uh, is the response which has been defined. Uh, then containment, this one is supposed to contain the incident so that it does not escalate and cause further damage. Uh, determine what is the scope of the incident. Determine the type of device that has been attacked. Is it the servers or the user account? Determine the reachability of the affected device. Is it local? Is it remote? Determine how quickly the incident can be contained. Understand the impact of incident to make quick decisions. How quickly is containment needed? For example, if data exfiltration is occurring, containment and minimization should be done immediately. Eradication and recovery uh, is a stage for eradicating the instances and the malware that have been uh, inserted in the system. Find the origin of the instance. Remove the root cause of the problem and all traces of malicious code. It involves like changing account password for employees and customers, hardening and patching systems and softwares. Then you restore the data and software from clean backup files, ensuring that no vulnerability has remained in the system. After recovery, you monitor the system for signs of weakness and instances for like 10 days to check if there are backdoors, if there is presence of rootkits, or if the machines are still connecting to CNCs, which are command and control centers for uh, 
adverse present threats. Lessons learned. So here you identify the lessons that you have learned from the incidents. The IT management, the SOC teams and the CSAT team should meet within 10 days of the incidents to review the following. You analyze how and why the incident happened, what caused the incidents, what was being used, what was being leveraged. You document how the incidents was handled and containment, communication and recovery procedures that are related with the incidents. Then you determine if the incidents caused damage before it was detected. Some incidents already have done damages before even the IT teams detect them. Then you identify gaps and all areas for improvement. Which parameters have not been patched? You identify them. You identify the gap. Are they employees the ones being used to reference these incidents? The devices, the configurations, security which has been implemented. You identify those gaps carefully and then you put them for improvement. You document recommendations and improvements for better future response and how to respond future occurrences. Reporting is very important. It should include provisions concerning incident reporting. Reporting should be immediately and occur at predefined intervals based on the incident severity. After incident analysis and protection, the incident response team needs to notify the appropriate individuals like the CIO, the CTO, the head of information security, remediation teams, law enforcement in case theft has occurred, then individual to be informed should play their roles immediately. Everyone should take their roles immediately to contain this, to reduce the damage. Alert notices can be sent through text, phone calls, emails, or word of mouth. Then all employees should be alerted of an tax so that they be aware of their, du of their duties and be aware that an incident is occurring in case they can be social engineered. So guys, thank you for uh, your time. In case of further clarifications, guys, you can contact me down here your, through comments. And I appreciate also your likes. Thank you.